Hello, my name is Mr. Trickster, and today I will be showing you how to make a mod from scratch. Uh, the simple mod that I could come up with, or simplest mod that I could come up with, is a small storage box that is going to have a, a larger capacity than um, that of the normal small storage box, which I believe is 15. So we're going to go much higher than that, and we're going to add some extra health to it. We're going to make it really cool. Um, so without further ado, let's just dive into it. Um, in my previous video, I did talk about how I how to get started, how to download the dev kit. So if you haven't done that um, and you don't know what to, what to do there, go ahead and go back and watch that first video. It shows you how to download it and what to do to get started. Um, we're going to go beyond that today and actually get dive into the files and, and create a mod. So the first things first, we want to go to the file up here called UGC or User Generated Content. It's between Actor and Help on the file menus. So we'll go ahead and click that, and we're going to click Create Mod. And since we're making a structure mod, we want new structure mod template. That makes sense, right? So we're making a storage box. So let's just call this, um, let's call this ultra mega storage. That's the name of our mod. Uh, I am the author, so I'm just going to say trickster. The description is storage pieces with ultra mega capacity and greater health period okay so that's those bits of information put in here there is an advanced tab here you can click on that and i'll be honest with you um i, I haven't seen this work so i don't know where this would go where where somebody would even click on this link, but it does say here that it's an optional hyperlink for the author's website. So you could put like a portfolio website or something like that to show more of your work. So if somebody's just, yeah, I don't know about this guy, you know, you could put it in here. Um, and then I would assume it would show up somewhere where that the end user can get to it. Uh, but like I said, I haven't used it, so I don't know. Um, some further testing is required for that. Uh, maybe some questions asked in the modding community. Lastly, here is the is beta version. So this would basically mark this, uh, like I says, marks this content as being in beta. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know whether later on you'll be able to take it out of beta or if you have to make a whole new mod that is not a beta mod. So therefore, those two things, there's some questions surrounding them, so I'm just going to leave them alone. I don't need either of those right now uh, either. So I will go ahead and create this mod. Now, in the past, there has been some issues with creating the mod for me personally where it doesn't give me all the folders that I are required to actually make the mod. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that this time it goes through and it makes the, the correct folders. It does not look like it actually did. So let's just see what we got. Um, so you're going to need to open your content drawer. You can either do that by clicking down here in the bottom left on where it says content drawer. Or you can hold control and space bar. Press space bar. Uh, it did not. Let's see. Does it let me create? It doesn't. Okay. So... It's, we're going to run with it. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and do it. Um, let's just save this, yes. Uh, so whenever you, down, whenever you create a new mod, you want to open up the, the map that it gives you from the template because that map is tied to that Primal Game Data blueprint. Um, and if you're, if you're ever in question of whether it actually is or not, you can, while you're on the map, go to your world settings over here on the right-hand side and type in Primal game data and you want to see this says new structure mod so let's just rename this while we're here so that it's renamed uh, renamed to our actual mod um, now the way that i did that is I, I click on it so it highlights blue and press f2 it automatically jumps into naming that's pretty much across the board with windows so you should be able to do that pretty much anywhere on any file just a little pro tip for you guys um what did i call this ultra mega storage okay it's renamed Let's just go back over here and just double check that. Yep, Ultra Mega Storage. So it is correctly connected. So we're good to go there. Without that connected, your mod will not work on the map that you're currently on. So if you don't want to use the map that's provided, you want to do it on a different map, you're going to have to change this to the game data of the file that you're um, that you're using. So that also means that I need to go to, I believe it's miscellaneous. I need to go to Data Asset, um, Mod, Data Asset. There we go select and I want to just underscore 
ultra mega storage. That's what I called it, right? <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, ultra mega storage. Uh, I forgot to take the new off the end here, so let's do that. Let's name it mod data asset so that we don't confuse get blah so we don't get confused there either. Um, okay, so let's let's go. We know we want a storage box, so I need to tie the. Uh, let me back up. I'm sorry. I need to tie the mod data asset to the primal game data BP. But I'm going to I'm going to pause the video and do that later. So right now I'm going to move on past it. Uh, so knowing that we want a storage box, we we then once we have our files our original files renamed, we go up to our content, we highlight the content on the left, and we name we type storage box. Now there's going to be all kinds of them in here. You want to make sure that the one that you select actually has this icon right here and it says blueprint class in in parentheses next to the name. So we want the blueprint class. And we want to go down to our Ultra Mega storage content. And we want to drop it on there, drag and drop it on there, and press copy here. We do not want to make a child, and we do not want to move it. Okay, so just copy it over. Um, so now, once, usually what I do is I'll find the name of the item that I'm looking for, and then I'll type that name exactly once I find it. Storage box small. Because that gives us... The, the smaller list of files that are associated with that storage box. And the only two that we need are these two. We don't need the inventory because the inventory, basically the inventory component is the component that is being used by the storage box just in general. So we don't need that right now. So we need the engram entry and we need the primal item structure. So let's copy, just click and drag, drop and click copy here. Now we can, we don't need to mess around with that anymore. And we can actually collapse that so that we're only in our plugins folder. We can get rid of, we can clear our search history up here, but we need to rename these. So let's start with the blueprint. It says storage box small. Let's make that ultra mega because that's the size of it. Ultra mega. Uh, primal item structure is storage box underscore small. Let's do the same thing. Ultra mega. There we go. And then lastly, the engram entry is storage box underscore small. So we're going to do, we're just going to follow the same naming convention. It makes things easier in the long run if they're all named very similar and in the same style. Okay, so that's all done. Um, so the first thing that we want to do, we're going to go into the blueprint. Just double click on it to open it up. And we want to make some minor adjustments to the blueprint itself. Uh, because this is where all the information as far as health and uh, the inventory slots and all that is, is housed. So we're going to go in here. Um, right off the bat, though, <clears throat> because we want to we want to differentiate our storage box from the vanilla storage box, we're going to mess with the material. So make sure that you have the storage box underscore ultra mega self checked up here. And then over here on the right-hand side where it says static mesh and materials, click on the material materials uh, folder with a magnifying glass on it. So that's going to browse right to the folder that where that is located. And then you're going to scroll down. Don't click on our folder, but you want to scroll down and we're going to copy again. We're going to copy that into the Ultra Mega Storage content folder. And then we're going to click into there. We're going to rename it. You know, same old, same old. This time we go to the beginning here. So it says storage box underscore S. So we're going to say underscore UM for Ultra Mega. And then we're going to open this up. Now, don't let all this extra stuff scare you. The very top one here where it says base color, that's all that we're going to mess with currently, right now. So we're going to click on albedo. Al albedo. I, I honestly don't know how to say that, so I'm just going to go with it. And then you click on the white bar here, and it brings up your color picker. You can make this any color you want. Uh, I'm going to go with one that I've already used in the past, uh, just this blue color. And then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to close this. I'm going to open my content drawer back up to make sure you can see that the blue color has take, taken onto the material. However, our storage box is still the default vanilla color. So to change that, make sure that it's selected. And then go back up to the storage box under materials and click this arrow with a circle around it. That just uses whatever is selected in our content drawer for that particular slot. So there's that. That is, uh, I'd, I'd say that's good for now. There is one other thing that, for me personally, um, you can you can see through this. You can see that, that it's empty. 
So I'm going to click on the static mesh itself, which is our storage box. I'm going to click the add button and I'm going to bring in a cube. And then over here on the element, I don't need to change anything or uh, mess with a material instance. This time I'm just going to search for what's already here and use some something that the game already has in it. I'm going to use unlit black. Okay. And then with that selected, um, we want to press R. It gives us our transform tool and our scale tool here. So I'm going to grab the middle square and just drag it down to where it's inside. So I'm trying to put this black square inside. Now, there's only so much I can do with the perspective view. So I'm going to go to click on a perspective up here in the top left of the viewport. And I'm going to click front. I'm going to zoom in and make sure my cube is selected still. I'm going to put it back on that scale tool. And I'm going to stretch it so that it reaches the end here. Reposition it. And then put it back on the scale tool again, stretch it up to the top. And just make sure that it's in the center really is all I'm trying to do here. So then click back on the front and now you can go to the top view. Make sure that it's good, it looks good. Uh, let's go to, uh, whoops, not front. Let's go to right view. Looks good there too. Let's go ahead and compile and save that. Click the right, go back to perspective. And now we have a view or um, a box inside so that when we're looking in here, it doesn't look like just an empty crate, okay? I doubt anybody's gonna be looking in there. However, it's just a the simple thing for me. I don't know, it's one of those, one of those things that I feel like I need to do. Okay, so <clears throat> we've done the static mesh and material. Uh, you could also change the static mesh here by selecting a different one if you want. I, I wanna keep it this way. Um, now we need to tell it to, uh, with the storage box Ultra Mega self selected, we go to the search bar in the, in the details and we're gonna search for consumes primal item. So this currently it says storage box small. We want to put your primal item in here. Um, so you just do that by coming back over here and make sure you're on your primal item structure, storage box, ultra mega. Click that so it's highlighted. Click the arrow. Done. It's now ultra mega. And then the last thing that we want to try to do here is we're going to adjust the health within here. Right now it's 500. Um, I would like it to be a little less than a, a vault so that a vault is still valid but I want it to be a lot more than just a wooden storage box. So let's go with 30,000 because a vault is 50,000. So let's just, that works for that. And we're done in there. Let's go to primal item inventory blueprint component. So in the inventory component, we're going to type max inventory items. And now you have this down here. This is where it dictates that there's 15 slots within the um, storage box. Let's take, let's crank that up to a thousand. And we're gonna also change this absolute max inventory items to 1200. Now the reason for that, this is if let's say you have a thousand stacks of raw meat and they all need the top piece of meat to spoil. Where is that spoiled meat gonna go? This is what the absolute max inventory items is. This allows 200 extra slots that the player can't access but if something within the inventory itself needs an extra slot, like spoiled meat, then it's going to go there. So that's what that is. Um, we also want to search. The next thing we search for is inventory name overrides. We don't want it to say just storage box. We want it to say ultra mega storage box. Okay. And then remote inventory description. Now this, I'm not gonna change it, uh, but you can. So this is where you would change it. So basically when you are in the inventory of a storage box, the little bit in the middle that where it says, um, here, I'll just show you. This is where it changes. Okay, so we'll see that later and I'll come back and remove that. Um, okay, so that is it for the blueprint itself. So we should be able to just close that down. And let's move over to our primal item structure. And now in here, we want to type in the descriptive name. Oh my goodness, I can't type. Descriptive name. There we go. Same thing, we're going to name this Ultra Mega Storage Box. Okay. And then we're going to search for item description. 
and it says a small box to store goods in. Well, that's not going to work. A, let's say an ultra, no, 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 no. Okay, a storage box with ultra mega storage capacity, man, capacity and health, period. So just like our mod description, we put this here. So for me, anyway, that makes sense. Okay, so then we can save that by hitting compile. And you want to compile and save, or there's a little tip here. You can click the three dots to the right of it, hover over the save and compile, and then just make sure that on success only is ticked. And that means every time you hit compile, it will also save. All right, so moving on to the next thing here, base crafting resource requirements. So here, this is what do you want the crafting requirement of your structure to be? I'm okay with it requiring wood, but I'm just going to increase the wood. I don't want thatch, but I do want ingots. Let's go metal ingot, and let's say, uh, let's just do 35. Doesn't need to be a lot. Um, fiber, let's just increase that to 50. That's fine. Doesn't need, we don't need to go crazy. Now, that's there's only three there, so if you want to add more requirements, you go up here and you click the little plus sign that says add element. And then over here on the left, there's a drop-down arrow. And then again, you just find it. Let's go obsidian because it's supposed to be stronger. And we let's say 50 obsidian. You know what? I think this needs to be hide instead of fiber. And let's make that 65 hide. Okay, I think that'll do. Um, so now let's compile it so we can save it. Every time you make a change, every time I make a change, I hit compile. Or at least I try to. Structure to build. So now this is what your actual structure is. So again, we can come down here. We can click on our box with our blueprint symbol and hit the arrow. It puts it in there. So we're good to go there. Um, and then we want to compile that. The next thing we're looking for in here is crafting requires inventory components. So now what this says is if you don't want it to be crafted in your inventory, what inventory do you want it crafted in? Now me, I want it crafted in the smithy because it's a little bit stronger than than a uh, normal storage box, so I don't think it should be crafted in your inventory. Plus it requires obsidian and metal, and that is something that needs to be done at a, at a workbench. So what I typed is anvil bench because that is the, the actual file name for it here, um, and that gives us the anvil, the smithy as the inventory that it's looking for. And then the last thing is the default folder paths. Now you can change this to anything you want. You can change this last one to say ultra. Um, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's let's undo that, and let's say under the storage. Let's add another folder. Um, yeah, because we might add more down the road. Uh, ultra mega storage. So there's the normal storage. Well, no, because there's no storage boxes in a. Yeah, let's. I got this. There's there's no other storage boxes that can be made in a smithy. Storage components. That's that's in a fabricator. So let's just get rid of that. Move it up a tier. So it's gonna you're gonna click on structures, then you're gonna click on wood, and then you're gonna click on ultra mega storage, because we don't need to have more clicks than what we need. We we want it to be under these categories, but that extra one would have been just gratuitous. Okay, so then that is done with the primal item structure. So we can actually close that out. And now we're moving on to the engram entry. So let's open that up. And there's not much here at all. The first thing on the list is what level do you want this item to unlock at for your character? Um, I want it to be higher than a smithy, of course. And I believe a smithy is around 18 or 20, something like that. And if you're all, if you're ever curious, you can always just look it up. You can go back up to your content. You type in Anvil, and you look for the engram entry there. It's 20, so we want to go a little bit higher than that. So let's go 22. No, 21. The 21 is fine. Once the once the smithy's unlocked, the very next level, you can unlock the storage box for it. So that's cool. Um, so there's that. 
Now, this part right here, um, sorry, that requires ingram points, <clears throat> that's up to you. Uh, me, personally, I have a philosophy that says if I'm making a mod and I'm injecting it into the vanilla game, the vanilla game doesn't give very many uh, ingram points. So as a single player, or a solo player, I should say, not on a single player because that's different if they turned on their single player settings. In a, as a solo player, there is not enough engrams to get you everything in the game. So why would I want somebody to have to, after downloading my mod, in order, in order to even use my mod, why would I want them to, to have to give up some of their engram points? So I make that zero. I, other modders might feel differently about it, but that's how I feel. Um, I, don't, I don't want that to be something that the player has to worry about. Oh, I got this really cool mod, but it cost me 75 engrams because that's what the modder came up with, and now I can't unlock this other stuff. So... You should be able to be max level, have used pretty much all of your engram points, and say, ooh, I want this mod on my server. Download the mod, still be able to unlock it without having to mind wipe. It's just, it, I, that's just how I feel. Um, now, if you're doing a whole series, like a whole overhaul of a, of a mechanic, and you, you're you trying to do balancing things, that, then that that's where that comes into play. You might need to have your engram points be set so that it balances out. No, that's, that's just a whole... That's a whole different discussion. I'm not trying to get into all that. That's just where we are. Um, this checkbox, the first checkbox, checkbox here, blah, that's a hard one to say. Um, give blueprint to player inventory. This is where you would have this checkbox if you want it to be made, crafted in the player's inventory. And then remember where we said to inject it into the smithy inventory? You wouldn't do that there. So since we did do that and we don't want it to be in the player's inventory, we uncheck this. And then the last thing that we have to do here is we have to put our primal item structure uh, file in here. So we're going to go back to our folder, Ultra Mega Storage, clear the search bar because I, I love to leave that there. Make sure the primal item structure is selected, put it in there, and we are done. That is it with the engram entry. It's complete. Um, now the last thing we need to do uh, is bring it all together in the mod data assets. Um, there's not very much you need to do in here either, but you just got to make sure that everything links together. So the very first thing that we're looking for is under additional Ingram blueprint class right here at the top. This is going to be your Ingram entry that you just completed, which is why I did these in, the, in this order. You want to do these, you can do them in any order you want, but it just, oh boy, I screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> Okay, so let's make sure it's selected. Let's add that in here by pressing the plus button and then hitting the arrow once it's selected in our, our folder. Um, so anyway, you want to do these in order so that it just makes it easier. It just It helps in my mind anyway. It makes sense to do them in order. Uh, the next one's going to be additional structures to place. So under structures and additional structures to place, hit the plus sign. Now this is going to be your blueprint. So we're placing this item. Does that make sense? So this is what's going to get placed when we once we make the item, once it's ready to be placed. Um, the next one's going to be the additional structure engrams. Right here, additional structure engrams. Hit the plus. Now this one has an index uh, of two members. Everything else only had one member. So we got to hit the down arrow. And under the class, you're going to put the vanilla structure that holds the inventory that you are trying to inject your structure into. In this case, the anvil bench, but we're not... We don't want the inventory component. We want the actual structure itself, okay? And then under class additions, which is, in other words, what are we adding to this class? Because this is for class, we're class additions, right? Makes sense. We're going to add our primal item structure once more. So this is saying that we want to add engrams to the inventory of the storage box. Uh, I'm sorry, of the smithy. Uh, we want to add engrams to the inventory of the smithy. That engram that we want to add is our, our primal item structure. Now, I know I just said engrams, and there's an engram entry, but remember, the engram entry is tied into the primal item structure. So then we just save it, and we can close this down. Now, this is where I need to pause the video so that I can connect these two, just because if I were to open this uh, primal game data BP, that's going to eat up probably about five minutes or, or so of this video, and I don't want to make you all sit through that. So bear with me. I will be right back. Let me pause the video, and we will continue in just a second. Okay, and we're back. Um, I went ahead and linked those two together, but I thought about it for anybody that maybe had 
encountered the same exact um, issue because it is a dev kit issue that could happen to anybody. Just when you open up your Primal uh, Game Data BP, there is a there, there's a search bar at the top, just like everything else, and type in mod data. Start to type that, and then all you do is highlight this and link it in there. Compile, save, and close. But all of that literally took about six minutes on on my system. So depending on your system, it could take a little bit longer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test this out because now we are at that stage where we can just go ahead and test it. So I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to, um, once I'm in here, I'm going to hit Shift F1, and I'm going to hit Control and Spacebar because I want to grab, I want to right-click on my primal item structure, go up to Give Item, and I want to give myself one item. Now, the reason I'm just doing it this way for right now is I want to test that it even places, which it looks like we're getting a placement. Um, it says storage box down here in the bottom, so you, so you see that? So we we screwed up somewhere, so we have to fix that. And it also says storage box here, but it does say zero out of 1,000, so we have the, the capacity. And it does say 30,000 health, so we're good to go there. So if we hit F to open it up, Ultra Mega Storage Box, store your items in here. This is where it changes. Remember, I typed that before, so we can go back in to that and we can change that we have to change the name as it shows up here so now let's try to let's just see if we can craft one uh, I brought this menu up by using my controller and pressing both analog sticks at the same time so you click on miscellaneous let's click we want a smithy a smithy has to sit on a foundation so the easiest one is just metal because it's right here so I'm going to go back in here I'm going to place a metal foundation place. Let's drop it down because I don't like how high they place. I don't know why I just punched. Whatever. Open her up. Uh, now I have to hit tab and I'm going to type cheat um, GM buff because I want to make sure that it's in there to unlock at level 21 like we did. So press I to open our inventory. And we're just going to get above level 21. There we go. And then let's go to our engram tab and let's just type in mega. Ultra Mega Storage Box is there. It tells us the correct required requirements of resources to craft, and it tells us it can be crafted at a smithy. So let's go ahead and unlock it. Let's open up our smithy. Storage, wood, Ultra Mega Storage. There it is. Now if we want to see it crafted and see if it works the same um, as putting, like manually putting one in our inventory, we can say cheat, give um, resources. <clears throat> And then I'll give us 50 of every resource, so I'm going to do that a couple of times. So I can get about 400 res or 200 resources of each type. Then I'm going to go over here and transfer it all. I'm going to craft one. It's just super quick to do give resources rather than, oh, I need this much of this one, this much of that one. It's fine. So let's pull that back into our inventory. Let's press E on it. Uh, you see it's, it still stacks, has all the same functionality as a regular storage box would. So we place it down. Still has 1,000 capacity, still has 30,000 health. Everything is the same. Nothing changes. So we're good to go. The only thing that we need to fix is the name. So let's let's just do that right now. So this is on the actual storage box itself. So it's going to be in here. And let's just see where we went wrong. Right there, descriptive name. So right off the bat, I, I typed storage box, or I clicked on the storage box Ultra Mega Self, and I typed name in the details search. And right down here, descriptive name is storage box. So let's just rename that to Ultra with a capital U, Ultra Mega Storage Box. Let's compile that. Let's save. And then now we don't really need to do much else. We know that it's going to be there. So let's hold down Shift F1. Let's pull back up. Let's right click. Let's give us one. We, we know it can be crafted. We know all that works. So we're just trying to test when it's placed, if it will be the correct information. And it is Ultra Mega Storage Box. Um, you know what I forgot to check? Let's go get one more. And, oh, I punched it. Nice. That's that's how we do things around here. Ultra Mega Storage Box down at the bottom, too. So the name has changed in both places. And I forgot to change this description. So that's, that's an easy fix. Let's escape. And let's bring this up. It's going to be right down here. Let's go description. Uh, remote, that's what that is, it's a remote, nope, okay, hold on, let me go back to this, let's see, that's going to be 
under the component. There it is. And we are done. Let's just give it one more test just to make sure. And control, or I'm sorry, shift F1 and control space. Let's do one here. Let's go back into here and let's press I, place it down. Ultra Mega Storage, place it down, Ultra Mega Storage. Let's go open it up. And boom, so it is complete. So, so we have our mod, we have our storage box, we can place it, everything lines up. We can put items into it, we can take items out of it. Um, because that all functionality comes from the original storage box, so that doesn't need to be tested. So there it is. That's going to be it for this video. So that means that the next video, um, I will go through how to publish it, uh, what what steps you need to do to take a picture of the item, to use it for your thumbnail of your mod, and for the inventory thumbnail when you're moving things around the icon within your inventory. So we'll go through all of that in our in the next video. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Any kind of... Uh, Likes, shares, subscriptions, any of that stuff is greatly appreciated. So um, if, you, if you found this helpful, I would definitely appreciate all of that. And leave me a comment if you want to see something else or if you have any questions. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much.